Hello. <coughs> Long time no see. We are back at it again. I'm working with a buddy of mine out of Osseo. Called me and asked me if I could run a truck for him. I'm in a 97 FLD 120 condo. Pulling a frat bed. So, those that wanted me to show how I did the do the straps, I will make a video of that. Showing exactly how I do it. We're getting loaded right now up here to Minards. Going to the valley. Back home. We just picked the truck up today. It's going to be interesting working for a farmer. He don't have time for chit. He is either in the truck or in the field or playing with the cows. So, yeah, I can't see shit like that. Put your eyeballs back on. There we go. Now I can see. So, hopefully, we will able we will be able to start making more videos and that hopefully so just waiting for this kid to throw this stuff on over here on the hill I don't know a lot of what I'll be running over here. Um, he runs beans out of Illinois up to Cumberland, Wisconsin at, on flats. It's like a grain flat with a screen tailgate. You load them out of the field. Um, he pulls reefers and he pulls flatbeds. So, I don't know a lot of what I'll be doing. I got a flatbed behind me right now, 48, 96 wide flatbed. I didn't know they still pull these stupid things. Damn, these kids are loving it over here. They're having to screw everything in on the trailer, using every inch of it. I didn't know they still loaded these things. I thought 96 wide were gone. But we're going to run this one for a while, start making some paychecks, and then we're going to, hopefully before the snow flies and it gets colder and shit, go and rescue Big Red from the asshole that's got it. Get it the hell out of there. Because I don't want him touching it no more. They pulled the pulled the oil cooler off of it. And rather than inspecting it before they put it back on, the kid just slapped it together and threw it back on. Didn't bother looking at it, checking it or nothing like that. Threw it back on and it leaks more oil now than it did. All the, all the brand new antifreeze I had in that truck, good till like 40, 50 below zero, is now garbage because the kid drained it. Drained it in a freaking oil tub. So now it has oil in it. So all my antifreeze is garbage. And the guy went and put 50 50 back in the truck. 
so it ain't even good for 20 fucking below now. So I need to go rescue the truck out of there and take it somewhere else where I can work on it my damn self. I'm tired of tired of mechanics that can't do can't do the work. I mean, I wanted to do it myself, but he wouldn't let me because it was on his property or something like that. That and I didn't really know the guy. I didn't really want to be working on my truck out there when he was not there. Because I didn't want to get blamed for something. So, I'll go get it, get it out of there, and find somewhere else to put it to where I can work on it. Figure out how to get it out of there. If I got to tow it out of there again, I'll tow it out of there. I don't care. Or tow it out of there, I'll tow it. I don't care. I mean, the guy that I'm working for now, his uncle owns a shop over here by Osseo, but it took him a week to work on this thing. So. I don't know that I want that shop working on it either. I gotta find another oil cooler. Or at least the casing. I'm debating on just throwing a whole brand new one on it. But the casing, the bottom part of the casing that mounts to the motor is the bad part. One of the one of the ports that goes against the block that all it is is an O-ring um, that that seals between the block and the oil cooler. Um, it uh, um, it's corroded so that it can't do this thing. Yeah. We good? All right, appreciate it, man. So I'm just throw a strap over that and go to steel. Okay. Can I go through there, or do I have to go through treat to get to steel? Uh, I think the best route would be to go through treat to go uh, to steel. All uh, right. You want to throw a tarp on this here? Yeah, you. They'll probably want you to tarp it. I'm sure. Oh yeah, they're gonna want it tarped, but. Is Steel gonna want to use the front, or are they gonna use the back? I, I'll check what they got for product. But if I they, if know. if not, yeah, we can tarp it here. Yeah, they won't need the front at all. All right, yeah, we can tarp it here. Even if they did, I'd, that's all I'd want to call it at for the front anyway. So. All right, yeah, we can tarp it here. Okay. How do you want me to do it? Uh, we just need to get your tarps laid out, and then uh, we're gonna fold them away, and then I'm gonna come over with a big old tube. We're gonna roll it up on the tube. I'm gonna raise it up, and I'll roll it off of the load for you, that way you don't have to climb up there and mess with it at all. Alright, because yeah, the last time, all the other times I've come here had been with a Conestoga. Well, my Conestoga okay. got stolen out from underneath me, so. Really? Now I'm flat bedding. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it around here, so. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let me, I don't, I don't know anything about these tarps, I just started with this guy today. Gotcha. Alright, uh, there is a bunk of flooring on the passenger side. Uh, it doesn't have any straps over it. I don't know if you want to get one over that or maybe Yeah, I'll throw it. it. Yeah, I can throw a strap over it. Hopefully they don't need to get up in there when it comes to... No, the longest length steel's got is 12 feet. Alright. There's just a back there. Okay. Alright. I'll get the, get the tarps off. Okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully just one tarp. Uh, I guess depending on the size of them, I'm not really. Sure I have no clue what's 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 what. He threw them on there this morning, and that was it. <laughs> All right, we get to throw a rag. Do you see the excitement in my face? Speak to you later.